Grand Rising, Kings, Queens, Guards, and Goddesses, multi-exclusive dimensional being Kyle with another exclusive. Today's video is going to be about what you should be doing during this pandemic because it's one thing to sit in the house all day, watch TV, and live in fear, but it's another thing where you can actually start building up your frequencies, which is your spirit, the way you think, the way you value, the way you process, and you can also up your vibration the way you feel about things, which is utilizing your soul, the way you express yourself, your feelings, your emotions, your passions, your desires, your willpower. You can utilize that with some of that energy by speaking things into existence, by coming outside, talking to the heavens, communicating with the sky, all right? Because clearly you realize you put a whole lot of work outside of yourself, but all you put, all you accumulating, are you bringing that energy right back inside of you? That's the thing. See, you can work for somebody or you can work for yourself. But key example though, you supposed to be working for yourself no matter what. Don't let no person, place, or thing stop you from doing that neither. Because at the end of the day, it's about you. It's not about them. They're already set. You're already set too. But are you going to bring your sets? Are you going to bring your sets with somebody else's sets? Or are you going to create your own reality, your old world? your own thought pattern, your own spaceship for you, for you to be able to travel and actually witness your fruits and labors growing. Because the TUC, the thing is, we ain't come here to be slaves. We ain't come here to be sheep. We ain't come here to be weak. But there's a lot of motherfucking sheep out here. And you gotta wake up, man. It's no time to be bullshitting. Now is the time. We in a new age, the age of Aquarius. The matrix is dead. But they're trying to make a virtual, a virtual reality matrix for y'all. And the, and the thing is, you need to understand and understand that is you're going to either accept this shit or you're going to step up and man up and actually take your power back. Because it's all about the strong. And the strong going to survive. And the weak ain't going to survive. The weak going to be reincarnated right back here to prove to the universe, well, to prove to themselves and prove to their spirit that they're more capable of handling this shit. <laughs> See, it's all about it's all about the way you think it's all about the way you process things and if you're not consistent with it the universe and the overall god gonna realize he's not capable of healing this power that he that he gave you so somebody else gonna take your power <laughs> we still gonna have a spirit this spirit is still gonna make sure you good but see the thing is you only keep your spirit in your soul this physical vessel is just you actually utilizing it to have population to be, to be more open, to be more expressible with people, places, and things. Duality. And you need duality. You need other people. Feel me? Unless you're in the ninth dimension, the, the higher you go, the less you need. The lower you are, the more you need. The thing is, you have everything already. You just got to put more energy and more power so you can actually utilize it so it can actually be beneficial for you. And that's just how it's supposed to be, no matter what the circumstance situation is. Don't just sit down. Don't be in a temporary mind state. Don't actually, don't put yourself in a permanent mind state thinking that it's the end of the world. No, it's time to wake the fuck up. It's time to claim your power or you're going to be a sheep. You're going to be getting ejected with all kinds of shit. You're going to be getting ejected and they're going to put a chip in you. And they're going to basically program you they're gonna watch you they're gonna spy you they're gonna be all on your ass and if you ain't going with their way of things their way of religion their way of processing then the motherfuckers is gonna be like you know what you are a problem to them so if you actually start thinking for yourself and utilizing your own shit your own ways it'll be more easier for you to actually manifest what you really want to manifest in this life feel me just because they label it their way for you to do it it's not going to work like that for you it's going to be more trials and tribulations more pain Rem remember that shit you got to be in the frequency vibration and energy of already having shit don't be in the process of actually trying to put yourself in that circumstance situation you there already your spirit is dead already your soul it's all about the way you utilize the feelings and emotions and your passion your desire and your willpower to utilize that to get you there so once your soul, once your soul meets your spirit, there, your physical is gonna prepare yourself. Depending on how your energy state is, 
once your energy is up you're going to basically be able to receive what you really want and need remember you already got everything remember that shit don't let nobody say oh you ain't rich you are rich you have everything already but are you going to put time into yourself to actually bring that down into a physical representation because your spirit and your soul can travel to a rich neighborhood your spirit and your soul can go to a rich place a, a, a heaven your spirit can do that shit but being that we're already down here in density and third dimension wise you have to build up more power more strength more energy more desire more willpower to utilize what you really want to need but don't get caught don't get caught up into um a desire though because that's basically you being a demon and that's what these demons is doing that's what these um government officials is doing they being reincarnated right back here because they desire to have more control over you they want to program you they want to teach you their way of thinking they want to express their way of feeling towards you. And they want you to feel the way they feeling. They want you to actually be a sheep and take precautions of how they want you to take precautions. No, fuck that shit. You take your motherfucking power back. You stop being a sheep. You stop being weak. You start believing in yourself. You start communicating with yourself. You start building up your energy, your frequency vibrations. And I guarantee you, the universe and God is going to put people, places, and things, and circumstances, and situations in front of you. You best to believe that shit. But you have to be consistent. Feel me? You have to keep building your power. You have to keep building your willpower. You gotta be strong. You can't be weak in this fucking world. You understand and understand that shit, man. You have to be strong. You have to be powerful. And if you're not powerful, you're not strong, you're gonna get washed up under the current. And you're gonna miss all the opportunities and all the advantages you need in life. For real. For real, though. And don't be fooled by these fake ass tally numbers that they throwing at y'all with these death numbers. Shit is fake. Learn how to read through codes. They are using geometry. They are using witchcraft numbers. They are using numerology on y'all. Basically, that's what they doing. Don't allow that shit. Don't believe in that shit. Cause when you don't believe in they shit, they shit won't. They shit can't affect you in no way, shape, or form. Cause your spirit is not in that web. Remember, your spirit is the thought. The way you think. The way you feel is your soul. Now, if you put in your spirit and your soul in that circumstance situation, all the spells and rituals and all the signatures that the um, witchcraft and all these demons is doing, you're going to attract that energy towards you. Feel me? See, I don't wear no fucking mask because I'm not no fucking clown. I walk out here. I don't give a fuck about none of that bullshit that they're talking about. Because at the end of the motherfucking day, I'm a powerful fucking spirit. I'm the over... No, listen. I'm fucking God, nigga. That's, that's who the fuck I am. I'm God. I'm God to these niggas. The government, they above me. Never that. Never that. See, that's the shit that you're not supposed to be saying, though. See, now I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked. But yo, look. The government, they under me. I'm above the government. The government is my bitch. The government is my motherfucking pets. Motherfucker, they under my shoe. That's how you gotta, that's how you gotta, that's the frequency mind state that you gotta be in though. Can't allow these demons to come out here and try to basically put you under them. Remember, they ain't shit without you. They need you. When you get a lot of people to work for you, all you gotta do is sit on your ass and keep counting what they doing. And if they ain't doing it how, how you supposed to, how you want them to do it, of course, you're going to take shape and form and you're going to value a certain, certain commandments for their asses, right? That's why they got rules and laws. They said, they said in the Bible, right? Respect the land of, respect the land of the Lord, right? But what they saying is, they said respect the government. That's what the Bible telling you. Respect the government. Nah, fuck that. Fuck the government. And remember, the Bible is for the people that believe. So, if you, for the people that believe in the government, they're going to experience trials and tribulations. For the people, places, and things that believe shit outside of them and let them take over their life, they're going to witness trials and tribulations. And when you witness trials and tribulations, guess what? You coming right back here because you experienced that same downfall that allowed, that you allowed it for it to take over you as an entity. No, step your game up, step your power up and be strong. Stop being a weak ass spirit. Get to know yourself during these times. Then don't let no person, place, or thing stop you 
feel me? Because if they, if you allow somebody outside of you to stop you, they a fucking demon. And the saying and saying, why the fuck you so concerned about what I'm doing? If I'm trying to do something good, you shouldn't be trying to stop me. At the end of the day, because we all got our own different paths. We all got our own way of maneuvering around shit. So at the end of the fucking day, you can't stop me from doing what I want to do on this motherfucking planet. Everybody got a purpose. Know your fucking purpose. Simple. And you will know everything else. Once you know your, you know your sun sign, you know your birthday. Get to know your moon sign. And get to know your rising. And everything else to fall into place. People are like, oh, I'm not into astrology. That's divination. But how? To, but listen, when you go on the weather channel, right? That's divination right there. They're telling you how the weather going to be future, future ahead. And remember, that's basically them saying, um... If you, if you, they basically telling you if you use divination, that's a sin. But in the Bible, nigga, they doing this shit for you. They, they actually telling you, telling you this shit. So at the end of the day, stop listening to these motherfuckers. You have a spirit, you have a soul, and you can't stay trapped forever. Your spirit is always going to get you out of that circumstance situation. But your spirit is traveling. Remember that shit. Your spirit is up there in the seat, traveling. Feel me? And that's what a lot of people lack. They lack it. They lack his spirit, man. Get your spirit right, for real though. And I guarantee you, everything will fall into place. And I'm in nature with this shit. Get in nature with it. And stop letting these fucking demons take over your life, man. Or you gonna be a motherfucking sheep in a seat. And I ain't talking about they seat. I'm talking about they foot, where they seat you at, the bottom of the pit, real shit. Wake the fuck up. I love y'all, but it's time to wake the fuck up and take your power back. Age of Aquarius. Get your, get your crystals. Get your wine. And put energy into that shit. Real shit.